So today is December 17th. Yesterday, on September 16th, it marked 100 days till Christmas. I know this because of Dad. He loved Christmas. Not because it was the day of Santa, but because it's, it's the day that we mark the birth of Christ. And I am still emotionally torn. I miss him so much. It's been five months since Dad passed away. And um, I continue to miss him. My good friend and brother, he said, When do you think the sadness will be replaced by happiness? I hope it does. But right now, I miss him so much. Dad was a character, you know. Um, I remember growing up in a household where Christmas music played all year long. And trust me, when you're hearing like Christmas music in March, and my birthday's in April for Pete's sake, when you're hearing Christmas music in March, you're like, uh, this is a little annoying. <laughs> Especially, I, I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of 12 Days of Christmas. Just because I like the original. Some of the spoof ones are entertaining, but in the end, it's the repetitive nature of 12 Days of Christmas that just really feels like nails on a chalkboard. Um, but I miss him. I miss him. I wish you were here, Dad. I so want to get a hug. I recently accomplished something. I, I ran a virtual half marathon, 13.1 miles. I did have to break it up over three days. My, my hips and my knees... Not to mention lower back and shoulders. They're all kinds of screwed up. Uh, I blame no one but myself. You know, bad life choices and whatnot. Uh, overeating. Inactivity. I'm trying my best. I wonder... I've been wondering if Dad gave up. After Dad retired, so many things just started beating him down. And at some point, you know, I started making the comment, and he agreed with me. I know you can't win them all. But it'd be nice if you can remember when you won some. But so many defeats over time just pile up and keep kicking you while you're down. <sighs> but that ends up being negativity and stewing, and that doesn't help anybody. But I know Dad loved Christmas. He loved it so much. Dad loved being Santa Claus for our little kids. And he truly was the embodiment of Santa. I'm not talking about his girth, but his, his love for children. 
He so loved children. And I see that, you know, I, I, in the few times that I get to spend with my nieces, I love to see them happy. I love to hear their laughter. The innocence of youth is a very important thing and should be protected from the monsters that are out there. And they are out there. Some of them are claiming to be guardians, but all they're trying to do is corrupt. I know Dad would want me to be a little bit kinder. But if I ever saw someone trying to hurt a child, well, I wouldn't want to confess on video what I would do, but I'd probably have to be jailed because they're not walking away. But unfortunately, that is, that's beyond what I am thinking about. I'm still thinking of Dad. I miss him. I miss his laugh. And I miss... And I miss his love. <clears throat> I truly hope... I truly hope life gets a little easier. Because... I don't know what life is like without my dad. And so far, I'm not thrilled. <laughs>